Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mousetrap Genius, your source for environmentally friendly... Seriously though, mosquitoes are about the most annoying thing ever, aren't they? They're annoying and they're also dangerous because they can spread diseases to you, your children, your pets, or just about anything else with a bloodstream. Until recently, there were really only a couple ways of dealing with them, neither of which we liked very much. You know, the first was to use smelly torches or candles that were probably about as annoying to you and your guests as they were to the bugs, or to use hazardous chemicals that were bad for the environment and will probably cause your pet lizard to grow a second tail. I'm not sure about that. But the point is, they're not really good for you or the environment. There is a third way though that we like a whole lot better and that is electronic kill lamps. So today we're looking at the Floatron Electronic Insect Killer. This comes in three different models ranging from the BK-15D here which covers half an acre to the largest model which covers an acre and a half in case you have a really big lawn or space that you want to protect. They're all a pretty similar design though and that goes for most of the kill lamps that you'll find out there. It's a UV light that draws the insects in inside of an enclosure that is metal and has an electronic field around it that kills the insects when they come in inside of another enclosure out here that protects your pets and children and yourself on bad days from accidentally sticking your fingers in and getting zapped. Of course, the zap wouldn't kill you if you touched it. It would just hurt. It's only powerful enough to kill very tiny organisms like insects. Anyways, there are three things though that I really like about the Floatron that I think set it apart, at least in my first inspection, from most of the other electronic insect killers that are out there. The first one is where most of the electronic insect killers you'll find have sort of a mesh for the first inside enclosure that actually does the insect killing. This one has rods, vertical rods that run about every third of an inch through there. And the advantage of that is where a mesh can get clogged up with the bodies of dead insects if you're in an area that has lots of insects, these will never get clogged up. It just kills them, they fall to the bottom, and then since the bottom has all these openings in it, they just fall out on the ground. It's the first thing I like. The second thing I like is it just looks pretty nice. A lot of these electronic insect killers look like something from Star Wars or The Matrix, whereas this one looks more like something you'd expect to see in the English countryside or Narnia. I don't know about you, but that is something I would much rather have in my yard. There's a nice brass hanging ring right here that you can use to attach it to a pole or hook on the side of your house, whatever you want to do with it. There is a plastic enclosure, which is plastic, but it's very heavy duty, and it is textured to look just like that old blackened iron that you'd see on old lamp posts back in the day when everything looked nicer. It's just a pretty nice looking piece of hardware for what it does. The third and final thing that I like about it, as opposed to a lot of other electronic insect kill lamps, is the light bulb is really easy to change. A lot of them you have to unscrew things, you need a whole toolkit just to take the light bulb out if it goes bad. This one, it's really easy. You just flip a little switch here on the bottom, pull this little plastic part off, give a sharp tug on the bulb, voila! Put your new bulb in, line it up, press firmly, stick this little plastic restrainer back on, and you're ready to rumble again. Now, it's pretty much an obvious fact that a light bulb like this will attract insects to it. If you've ever seen moths or mosquitoes hovering around a light bulb at night, you know that that's a fact. But especially in the interest of drawing in mosquitoes, which is probably what we want to get here most of the time. Floatron also sends you a nice little cartridge of octanol mosquito attracting, which will bring them in like nothing you can ever imagine will. So, I really like this trap. Seems to be well designed from looking at it, but the million dollar question as always is, will it work? So we're gonna set this baby up. 
Come on and let's see. And the verdict is, the Floatron works, and it works really well. So, is this something you should consider purchasing? Well, if you have a lawn, garden, or patio, and you live anywhere but the North Pole, then I would say it's something that's definitely worth considering. Which one do you need? Well, if you have a smaller yard, uh, zero to half of an acre, then the BK-15D, which is this one right here, should do the job just fine for you. If you have a more of a medium sized lawn, half an acre to one acre, then you're gonna want the BK40D, which is the same idea, just a little bit bigger. And if you have a really big lawn, one to one and a half acres or larger, then recommend the BK80D. And if it's larger than that, then consider getting a couple of them. All these guys are available on Amazon, and we'll put the link to them down in the video description for your convenience. Also, Floatron makes a bunch of cool accessories. They make wall mounting brackets, they make security mounting poles, in case you don't have anything to hang this from around your house or lawn normally. And they also sell replacement bulbs. The three models do take different light bulbs, so you wanna make sure you get the right one if you're ordering them for the model that you're purchasing right now. And they also sell extra mosquito attractant cartridges. So if you're using this trap to get mosquitoes or planning to do that, then might be worth picking a few of those up. Again, all those things are available on Amazon and we'll put the link to them down in the description. If you decide to purchase the Floatron or any of the accessories, we'd be really honored if you would use our link. Anyways, you guys, we hope you found this review of the Floatron Electronic Insect Killer helpful. We appreciate you watching, appreciate your likes and your comments. If you're not subscribed to Mousetrap Genius, go ahead and do that because we have lots of awesome stuff coming up all the time, especially with spring and summer getting closer here. We're gonna have a lot more cool stuff coming up just around the corner. Also, if you haven't liked Mousetrap Genius on Facebook, go ahead and do that. We have a Facebook page. We post updates and interesting anecdotes about humane and environmentally friendly pest control. Until next time, thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great, hopefully mosquito-free day.